Good morning. Have you ever seen a sweeter sight? We're just relaxing, watching the princess switch, wishing <laughs> it was 28 degrees outside. Seriously. It's pretty, it's pretty muggy out, but... We have a tropical storm coming in. Right. We are going to go to the doctor's office and then the hospital soon for checkup labs for Mr. Mr. Man's jaundice, but I think he's looking good. Looking better, not 100%, but yeah, much better. We still gotta just keep checking. Yeah. Make sure the numbers are going down. later in the afternoon but we've been um this whole new newborn parent life it means you do a lot of meticulous errand running and important things um we had james's retest of his jaundice course which came back we did have to we did it like the hospital took a little longer because they had a busy monday um but he did great for the taking of the drawing of the blood it was a champ and then about two hours later, our doctor called and was super happy with the scores. So he still looks a little jaundice in the eyes, but a lot of the rest of the jaundice seems to be leaving and the scores are reflecting that. So no more checking of that. We do have a, a pediatrician visit later this week that she'll double check everything else, make sure he's growing and being awesome, which he is. Um, and besides that, we've just been, I did a bunch of the boring stuff and creepy stuff, like adding James our insurance. Not creepy, pretty awesome. But adding James to all of our, mine and Sarah's life insurances. Um, that's not fun, because no one likes to think about that. But had to add him to all those policies as contingent beneficiary and everything, all that fun stuff. Had to finalize my parental leave with my company. Had to finalize the insurance claims and everything with the company and take pictures of documents and send them over. So. Um, a very bureaucratic afternoon. Sarah's finishing up the vlog and now we're working on it. And... Tell about the CRM study. Oh. So the fun update for anybody who's been following along our infertility journey this whole time. This, if you remember, is a watercolor of our embryo that we first transferred. And these etchings on my necklace here, if you remember, is the gift that Sarah gave me. Um, that is the heartbeat of the ultrasound of when we saw Sweet Pea. And then this, James here, is our other baby. And all of that is because we did IVF and we were in this cool medical study for a new medicine that's in phase three. Oh yes, he says yes. I am a cool IVF baby. Um, but we were part of a phase, a medical study of new medicine, it was phase three. And one of the interesting things now that like it's all wrapped, like our part of it's all wrapped up is that we had to give an update once James was born on like how long we were in the hospital, stats, test scores, weight, height, everything right after birth. And then one year later, so Sarah just sent off all of that, all those notes and everything over to the, the, the nurse practitioner that is leading the study at our fertility clinic. So that was awesome to kind of revisit those names and be communicating with them again because we haven't seen them since we graduated and went to um, our current OB. So. Really cool, if you ever get a chance to be part of a medical study, we highly advise it. Um, you wouldn't have lots of the med any of the medicines that you have today without medical studies. We wouldn't have our sweet baby or our sweet embryos and other babies without the advances in medicine like that. So, super cool. What do you wanna do? baby alert of all time just snoozing also we have the outer bands of a tropical storm here 
which means it's just continuously pouring. But we may, may, may run over to Disney Springs to pick up some, something from one of the stores. Don't know. Are the, you, like, you're not gonna run your half marathon, right? No, not at the tropical storm outside. Oh my goodness. So, the night is to be determined. This right here is one of my favorite Christmas decorations that we've ever had. Sarah and I tag team heating up dinner. Some delicious pasta red sauce with some vegan crumble. I've had that realization, it's that time of year where it's six o'clock, it's like 6.30 right now, and it's like pitch black out. And like I didn't realize I was such like a sunny person because I used to be such a winter driven person. And I feel like I do love nighttime stuff, but like, not as much fun happens unless you're like a 14 year old punk when it's this dark outside. So, or if the Disney parks are open. Or if the Disney parks are open. So, Crazy Rich Asians got added to HBO Max, so I never actually finished watching it. I think that was, was that the beginning of COVID? Remember I started watching it one day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then like I went to go, I didn't finish it, and I went to go watch it again, and it was removed from Amazon or Hulu, whatever app I was watching on. Well, now it's on HBO Max, so like, I have 25 minutes left. So I think that's what I'm doing while I'm finishing heating up the, the foods. Well, we're finally watching season four of Phil as a family. Yes. I got Eve on my lap. Sarah's got James in the corner. Mm -hmm. We're on the line. We're about to start the last episode of season four of Somebody Feeds Film. He's, it's been a weird night. So you guys know how I was talking about how I was finishing Crazy Rich Asians. Mm -hmm. Then we're watching the Singapore episode of Somebody Feeds Phil. And then they bring up some uh, Crazy Rich Asians and one of the actresses like They were in the it. same place as part of the Crazy Rich Asians was and filmed. Then what happened next with Phil? Oh, so today is Richard Rosenthal's birthday, who is Phil's brother in real life. And in the episode, it was his birthday. So it was like Phil. Exactly a year ago today. Yeah. So literally, the universe is telling us that we're supposed to be watching Phil today. Right. Which is why we're going to watch this next episode and then give yeah. Mr. Man. Oh, a, a bath, bath, and he's just getting cozy on me. Side note, we heard a really crazy large boom. And flash. And flash, and it was really frightening. Came to the conclusion think. that it was a... Transformer. I think an exploded transformer. Yeah, but oh my gosh. So happy, like, we were like waiting for Siren. Like, it was like that scary and that loud. <laughs> See, it was scary. You don't want to talk about it. He says, put on Phil. <laughs> We got the bath out for a nice little bath time with Mr. Jamesy. And we got a tip that doing um, skin on skin after bath time helps regulate their body temperature. And I would say this is awfully cozy over here. You would say it, all, it is awfully cozy? Yeah. yeah. And we We wait and we wait. We watch all day through. And our dreams while we wait are of everything. Super cute story called Everything You, and one of my favorite things about it, it was a gift from our friends Lauren, Mikey, and Lucy. They even wrote a little message in the back to James. How sweet. She enjoyed it too. No big deal. Just, oh, oh Burp City. Just finally on the rocking chair using it, what it's supposed to be used for, not for work. Isn't that great? The constant worrying sidekick. All right, we're getting ready for bed. Another win for the Amazon machine is that this light can get dulled to 20, 10% of its full capacity. And yes, we are very new, very, very new parents, but we're starting to catch on to some great little t tips and tricks. We realized really quickly we need a second set of mittens, pajamas, and swaddle for the middle of the night in case there's any uh, blowouts or overly full diapers and then also an entire separate basket set of diapers wipes and Vaselines and such to have Bedside So then there's no walking across the apartment into across dark rooms at 3 in the morning All right, it's earlier than what we've been doing, but we're trying um, a new potential routine with James so we're calling it right now at 11 
hopefully we won't be getting up a million times tonight, which we haven't been, but hopefully now with something new. Gosh, what is today? Oh, I know today is Monday the 9th because I go back to work on the 13th. I only have three more days of paternity leave. How did that go by so fast? All right. The ninth, the message for the ninth is by Anonymous. Trust that when the answer's no, there's a better yes down the road. That can be applied to about a million and a half things in life, and I love that. I've heard it in different, like, it's, it's the similar thing to, like, one door closes, another door opens kind of a thing. I'm a huge proponent of that when people always ask, like, would you, if you could change one thing in your entire life, what would it be? I usually say nothing because I love my life now, and I don't know if I would have changed anything else how that would affect the now. So I just stick with my life. It's pretty, I'm really, really fortunate. Right, as I was chit-chatting with you guys, a bunch of my friends came to join me for the sign-off. Got a Here James, got an Eve, got a Sarah, and a Peter. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.